When Monroe County decided to rename the Greater Rochester International Airport after Frederick Douglass, no one was more thrilled than Julius Jackson, Jr. Jackson is the pastor of Trinity Emanuel Presbyterian Church and a leader of the black fraternity Alpha Phi Alpha. He issued a call to action nearly 15 years ago, and Rochester listened. On a brilliant Sunday afternoon, the Reverend Julius Jackson Jr. relaxes with his son James in one of his favorite spots, the Frederick Douglass Memorial Square. A dream deferred is not a dream denied, so happy to see this dream reach fruition. One year ago, Jackson helped break ground on this plaza at Highland Park, but he spent more than a decade turning the dirt for Douglas. Jackson was among the first to push for a more prominent display for this iconic statue, and he also led the effort to rename the Rochester Airport. In 2006, he wrote about the idea in About Time magazine, suggesting the time was right to honor Douglas in this way. There's a lot of uh, rich history there. Not just in Douglas, but Rochester history that ties into Douglas yeah. that everyone should know about. Yeah. Douglas just kind of lended its way to, to doing more. You know, what, what a perfect backdrop. And you get to tell the history of Douglas in the, in the process, too. These are among the many pictures Jackson has taken at the Frederick Douglass Plaza, both before it was built and after. Jackson is proud to tell friends and strangers alike about the region's rich ties to Douglas. 14 years after Jackson began pushing for a better tribute to Douglas, his dream has come true. I think it's a nice little beacon for Rochester, as well as, as what's going to happen with the airport. I think it, it will put Rochester more so on the map. Right now, the FAA is finalizing the paperwork to rename the airport after Frederick Douglass. Part of the project will include an educational display about Douglass inside the airport. It will also include material about Douglas's life work and his devotion to the city of Rochester and we thank Julius Jackson for helping make that happen.